Alright, so again we've got the epidemic thing where our enemy, our troops are demoralized. So, first things first, let's try and quickly take the nearby villages. So we can set up some kind of defensive perimeter before they can mobilize. Because they will almost certainly attack us. We've captured the village. We've obtained information about the enemy. Oh crap, here they come, here they come. Alright. Pioneers, pioneers, we need you now. We are under gunfire. Where's the blockhouse? Blockhouse. As you say. Yeah, we can use this as our defensive position. The firing range. The village is under our control. We've obtained information about the enemy's location. Move the cannons forward. Move the cannons forward. Come on, get that blockhouse up. Musketeers back to the village. We are under gunfire. Oh, well, apparently we still haven't taken the village. We've captured the village. There we go. See, now we've got a blockhouse here, and it's going to be able to fire on enemy pos enemy positions the village is under our control. yes finally we've taken this village we're gonna set our heavy cannon here we're gonna just bombard these guys into nothing No! They broke some of our men. The enemy has one squad less. Enemy troops spotted. God damn it. This is fucking crazy.
The enemy has lost the squad. The last troop remaining in the enemy village. Okay, well, I should really bring forth the rest of the troops because we might need some reinforcements. The enemy is not far away. The enemy opened fire. Advancing against the enemy village. I gotta swing in these cavalry and hit them from behind. Enemy is at rifles firing distance. The enemy has lost his squad. God damn it, we're gonna win this. Well, I think that was a complete and total slaughterhouse. I had no idea what was going to happen for most of that time. I thought they were going to break through for a while. But then I got a message, or, or well, not a message, uh... I think really what happened is I brought forth the Our cannons, near the enemy and then the cannons uh, really fucked them up. The enemy squad's defeated. <sighs> We've seized victory. Yeah, I don't even see where our resources are. I can't even see them. Wow. Well, we took the capital. Alright, so apparently we only lost one squad of home guards. And I will replace them, but not, not, I think, go to my infantry, I'll place them with grenadiers instead of uh, melee troops. Yes, Austria has become part of our country. bolster the defenses of my uh, border provinces. No, 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 Oh, fuck. I can't, I can't undo the turn. Lame. Oh, those fucking Egyptians. Fucking Murad Bay.
All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna try and take up the poles. But at the same time, I'll be upgrading my defenses so the Egyptians don't break through. Oh, sure, yes. Well, the Poles just surrendered to us without a fight, so that's fine. So he will have four squads. Um, he will have a total of 15 squads. I'll have 16. Alright, we can do this. We can defeat the Egyptians. We can crush them on the battlefield. All right. Um. Oh, this is the same map that we've done like three times already. So let's deploy along the same lines. Oh shit, well, we're too slow. Where's my pioneers? We'll need them to build us a uh, defensive emplacement. These guys are archers. Pull them back. Pull them back, guys. Fall back. Fall back. Oh, we can't. So these are Jan Janissaries. All right, we gotta form up some kind of defensive line here. These guys shooting my horses. Alright, where can I build? Here are my pioneers. Why can't I select them? Enemy Oops, I don't want that. I don't, have, I don't want that either. Where can I? Alright, can we break these archers? No, we can't. Fall back, guys. Fall back. Let's bring forth the cannons. The location of enemy troops. Wait, great. The cannons are just shooting our own fucking people. 
That was a good one. Good one, guys. Alright, throw grenades at these uh, fucking archers. The, the Egyptian army, man, it's it's surprisingly powerful. Though I never thought, to be quite honest, I never thought I'd be fighting the Egyptian army as the Russians in this game. The enemy is scattered. All right, well, we're pushing them back. Gotta come up with some sort of plan. Right, I'm gonna move up through the forest here. Now bring up the cannon the onto the hill. Slowly gaining ground. God, these guys have almost killed a thousand men. Sorry, I'm, I'm very uh, critically thinking right now, trying to plan my uh, my attack. Maybe I'll just keep bombarding them with cannons.
these their arrows are just like fucking useless. How do they conquer so much territory? in and around along with another couple of cavalry units to try and flank them what am I doing for food? I'm still doing good for both food and ammunition shooting at. Alright, now we've got to move the musket lines forward. Break these guys. The enemy delivered a blow. The enemy squad's defeated. I like the Egyptians though because apparently they've got more balls than anybody else because they're not retreating. They're gonna fight to the bitter end. And I fucked that one up. God, now all they have left, it uh, looks like all that they have left are swordsmen. It's obnoxious is that, that they keep slowly but surely retreating. Oh, okay. Our motherland has been glorified. Just after I sat here, yeah, glorifying them for standing their ground, they decide that they're gonna retreat. Bunch of pansies. We are under I'm disappointed in you, Egypt. I thought you'd offer us more of a fight. Well, the e the Egyptians managed to kill one home guard. And the Russian Empire pretty much is overtaking the majority of, like, takes all of Eastern Europe and it's moving into Central Europe as we speak. And we managed to kick uh, the Egyptians out of Europe. Alright, well in the turn. We'll see what they what they have in store for us. Sure, yeah, I'll, I'll take the surrender of France. <sighs> oh, 
Oh yes, that's right. I need to hire more troops. Well, man, this uh I mean, after the the great uh, epic pitched battle between Mikhail Kutuzov and Murad Bey for Prague, um, after seeing just how uh, magnificent that battle was, the uh, the French decided that they would capitulate to Russia. Yeah, that's right. You attack. Oh, the British are declaring war on me. Come on, guys. Well, we're going to have to decide we're going to attack Munich and force yet another enemy to surrender to us as we cut our way through to Paris as we are doing a pretty good job in um, you know, really kicking ass at this game and really forging an empire to be reckoned with. But I'm going to have to stop for now, so I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been Joseph, he's one of us, Stalin. Signing off for now, and I'll see you guys next time.